Dev to me, thank you for having us. Um, could you briefly introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Chicken. I play bass. I'm Ian. I play drums. I'm Ken. I play guitar. And I'm Sam. I, I play guitar as well. All right. Uh, how was it on stage tonight? It was awesome. It was a really fun show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was fun. It, it's your last show in France. It is our last show in France. Okay. And how is the uh, European, uh, European tour going so far? Um, really good. Yes. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's really good. We started it off in uh, the Ukraine and Russia. Mm -hmm. We had like a week there. It was really cold. It was very really cold. cold yeah. very and cold. we've been in France now for about a week. Uh -huh. okay. And it's going really well. Uh, I read that you, you kicked off the, the European <coughs> tour uh, with an acoustic set at the Raymond's uh, Museum yep. uh, in Berlin. Do you, do you often play uh, acoustic gigs? We don't, actually. It's pretty rare for us to play acoustic. And uh, actually, one of the only places we ever play acoustic is at the Ramones Museum. Two a year? Yeah, ah. a couple a year. Yeah. So we've done like some like one-off things. We play a couple songs for like an internet thing. But uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Um, This one was really cool because it was a, an acoustic show, but it was also an art show for all of his artwork. He showed a bunch of um, pieces of his yeah. art, and so it was really cool, and we did a lot of special stuff. Like, we had um, a screen printer there, mm -hmm. and we, he made a design, a t-shirt design, just for the event. And okay. so people could come and bring articles of clothing, and um, they got them screen printed while they were there. Yeah. And so it was so fun. Like, while we were playing, all the shirts were hanging up, drying. It was really cool. Yeah, it was super fun. It was, yeah, cool. it was really You'll fun. do it again. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, is uh, the writing of albums approached in different way for uh, for each album? I mean, um, do you have a, a fixed writing process or no? No, not really. It's I mean, um, it, it, it's always going to be different when there's different members. You know what I mean? Um, this one I really enjoyed because it was we wrote the record right after touring extensively. Like we toured our asses off, and then we came home to San Francisco. And we just, we had all these ideas going and all these songs we'd mm -hmm. been working on and we just got in the practice space and we just wrote the fucking record like all at once. It was, am I allowed to swear? Can I say curse words? Fuck, yeah, shit, yeah. piss. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> cool. Of course. Come uh, It's France. No, <laughs> beep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so we wrote the record after touring and I, I really liked it. It was different because it was much more organic mm. than the last record, say African Elephants, where it was like, we, we kind of, we hadn't been touring as much. And it was like not, we hadn't been practicing as much and stuff. So it was really cool to write the record after touring so much with these guys. It felt really natural and yeah. really organic. So uh, with this record, uh, do you return to much more uh, punk rock, um, uh, well, punk rock and world root uh, with, uh, with um, no, then African Elephant, I mean, with the last one? Well, you got, what, what? You got your boy Sammy on board. Oh. I can't help it. <laughs> I, I think all the members of Dead to Me have been pretty punk rock, but mm. um, I, I also think that it was really a result of of touring for so long and then and then writing the record because when you tour every night you play songs off of each record, and so the like the overall vibe or spirit of Dead to Me comes across in the live show. So then when you go to sit down and write the record, that's fresh in your mind. And we were a little bit more experimental, spread our wings a little bit on African Elephants and. Um, This one kind of came more from touring, whereas like the last one was like us sitting on our own, writing songs, working on parts, stuff like that. And so I think this one sounds a little bit more punk rock per se because we had been playing live so much mm -hmm. and it was the overall vibe of that, that energy of playing live every night and then writing the record. All right. Yeah. Uh, well, did you mean to, to denounce politics in your music? I mean, uh, when reading the track list, the evolution will be televised, the Monarch Hotel, The, the world has gone mad. Um, what's the part of politics in your music, if there is one? Because Yeah, I mean, um, personally, it's just stuff that I'm thinking about. You know, like music has always been an outlet for me to, to um, kind of work out and voice the things that are going on inside my head, the things that I sit around thinking about. I read a lot and like um, I do follow politics and, and it's, it's in my head and I think about that stuff a lot. And I don't have a lot of friends that I can talk to that stuff about. So one way I get to do that is by writing songs. Mm -hmm. And so um, it's usually what's going on in my mind and, and, and what I'm thinking about. I'm not talented enough to sit down and be like, I'm going to write a political song and then write one. It's usually whatever the, the, like, the energy or the vibe that I'm thinking of, it just kind of comes. And then I write it and it happens. I can't think about it beforehand and be like, I want to write a song about war and then do it. Okay. Like, I'm not good enough to do that. Yeah. Well, I, I, I feel like I can speak for you, too, that 
in your lyrics, it it it's more uh, socio political, because you know that's what we deal with every day. That's that that's that's our our interactions and our relationships, our direct relationship with the world. Mm -hmm. And traveling, yeah, going going to different countries, seeing different cultures. You know what I mean? Yeah, that, that definitely comes across in I think in the writing as well. We think about global things. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what. You mean. Um, what do you think about cover and uh, do you play any covers live? Uh, <laughs> it's funny you ask that. Uh, we've been talking about that. We, we want to play a cover. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're, trying to f we're trying to find the perfect cover yeah. to do. And which is? I don't know. Something, it's got to be something old. S nothing yeah, nothing something modern. Old. Something old like 80s or something, you know. Okay. Something that everyone knows. Yeah. yeah. Right now the two we're thinking about doing are Don't Leave Me Hanging on the Telephone oh. by The Nerves slash Blondie. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jet Boy, Jet Girl. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, perhaps with a French verse. Yeah. Oh, really? A with verse. a French one. I, I know they're different songs, but. Yeah, we okay. Can mix that shit. We can I, mix it. I didn't hear you uh, thinking in French. No. Tonight. <laughs> no, so no, not that's tonight. Weird. Not tonight. Yeah. <laughs> not tonight. Okay. Next tour. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you're on Fat Red Records, uh, so famous Californian uh, label. And in September, um, the Flatliners came here. Uh, they are from the same label as you. And you released Under the Influence, vol uh, Volume uh, 16. Yeah. Can you tell me more about that? Uh, that was it's a, a split. It's a split seven inch where each band picks a cover song by a band that like influences them or a band that they like. Um, Suburban Home put it out. They asked us if we wanted to do it with Flatliners, and we just picked a Fugazi song because we really liked Fugazi, and and we love the Flatliners. They are friends. Uh, yeah. yeah, you so you've ever you you've ever toured with them? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. already. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, in the yeah. states. A lot. In the states. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have to do a Euro European tour now. We would love to. <laughs> we would love to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good boys. Hmm. Uh, Excellent kissers. The lead singer Chris, I've, ah, I've, really? I've kissed him extensively, and he's a fantastic kisser. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Yeah. I didn't kiss him. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I do. Well, now you, you do know. I do know. I do know. And he's a great kisser. I know nothing about that either. <laughs> I was sleeping when that happened. Yeah. Oh, so okay. Yeah, I get a little sweet around bedtime. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And <coughs> so you're gonna play at the Underworld in London, uh, the best famous punk rock place in Europe. Um, did you decide to end uh, with your tour there, or uh, do, that it means something to you? Is it we was it a will or? Yeah, I mean we haven't played. We, la we did play London last year, but uh -huh. we played like right down the street from it, I think. Right, the uh, the well, Shepherd's Bush Shepherd's Empire, Shepherd's, yeah. Shepherd's Bush, with and our descendants. Yeah, and they said that this place is a place to play, and um, yeah, it just it just ended up being like the routing ended up being in London uh, at the very end. So we're excited for sure, though. I yeah. mean, that place is famous, okay. and like we're very excited to go play there. It's gonna, I mean, as an American, like British punk rock's pretty. It's a big deal. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like we're definitely like we love some old British punk bands. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. Don't get this guy started. He, <laughs> he loves British punk. So it'll be really cool to be there and play that, that, that venue. It'll be awesome. All yeah. right. Cool. Great. Uh, do you want to add something or? Just thank you so much for the interview. We appreciate it. Okay. And goodbye, yeah. France. Yeah. Thanks thank for having you. us. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Ready? Un, deux, trois. Hey, hey this, this is, is Dead to Me. You're listening to Back and Roll. Roll.